determine the exact value of the limit if it exists. We have the limit as x approaches infinity of 3x e to the power of 1 divided by x minus 3x. Let's first analyze the form of the limit as x approaches infinity. As x approaches infinity, 1 divided by x is approaching 0, which indicates e to the power of 1 divided by x is approaching e to the 0 or 1, leaving us with 3x times 1 minus 3x as x approaches infinity. And since x is approaching infinity, we have the indeterminate form of infinity minus infinity. Remember, this is an indeterminate form. This does not equal zero. From here, remember, if we have one of the indeterminate forms shown below, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine the limit. And we can get the limit in one of the indeterminate forms required for L'Hopital's rule by changing the form of the given function. To begin, notice both terms have a common factor of x. Let's write the given limit as the limit as x approaches infinity of, let's go ahead and factor out the x from both terms and write the x on the right side. Factoring out x, we have three e to the one divided by x minus three. And now from here, we're gonna use an arithmetic property where multiplying by x is equivalent to dividing by the reciprocal, which indicates we can write this limit as the limit as x approaches infinity of three times e to the power of one divided by x minus three, and then instead of multiplying by x, we will divide by the reciprocal, or we'll divide by one and divided by x. We often use this property in the opposite direction where dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, but again, it's also true multiplying by x is equivalent to dividing by one divided by x. And now let's see what's happening to the function in this form as x approaches infinity. Again, we know from before, e to the power of one divided by x is approaching one as x approaches infinity, which indicates the numerator is approaching three minus three or zero. And the denominator of one divided by x is also approaching zero as x approaches infinity. So now we do have one of the indeterminate forms in which we can now apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine the limit. Recall L'Hopital's rule states, the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals a limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. To apply L'Hopital's rule, once we have the correct indeterminate form, we differentiate the numerator and denominator. And this is not to be confused with the quotient rule. Before we differentiate the numerator and denominator, let's review how to differentiate one divided by x. To differentiate one divided by x with respect to x, we write one divided by x as x to the power of negative one and apply the power rule of differentiation. So we multiply by negative one and subtract one from the exponent, which gives us negative one times x to the power of negative two or negative one divided by x squared. And now let's apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine the limit. So this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of three e to the power of one divided by x is equal to three times e to the power of one divided by x times the derivative of one divided by x, which we now know is equal to negative one divided by x squared and then minus the derivative of three, which is zero. And this is divided by the derivative of one divided by x, which again, we already know is equal to negative one divided by x squared. Notice in this form, we can simplify. We have a common factor of negative one divided by x squared between the numerator and denominator. Simplifying, we're left with the limit as x approaches infinity of just three times e to the power of one divided by x. And again, we already know as x approaches infinity, e to the power of one divided by x is approaching e to the zero, which equals one, and therefore the limit is equal to three times one, which is equal to three. I hope you found this helpful.